Hey guys, Ryan Salson here with Accelerate Marketing, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about the pricing for Google local service ads. So a lot of people ask me the question, what's gonna be the price per lead? What's gonna be the cost per job or case that I'm gonna to expect to pay for the specific Google local service ads that I'm gonna be running for my business? So I'm gonna answer that question for you today. Before I do, I wanna to talk to you about a few things. If you don't know, you can actually run Google local service ads for up to 70 different business types as of March of 2023. And actually, just this past month and the month before, there was about another 20 to 30, maybe even 40 additional business types that were added to the platform. So the platform is only growing, it's here to stay, and it's not going anywhere. And actually, I would also say that about 30 to 35% of the people choose from the Google local service ad section when they're trying to choose a business from that first page of Google. So it makes sense to show up where people are selecting your business. So what you will learn in this video is how pricing works for Google local service ads and even some insights into how to make pricing work for you and where you can go to actually find the pricing if you're just starting Google local service ads in order to get an idea of what the cost per lead will be, which ultimately identifies what the cost per job, cost per patient, cost per case will eventually be for you based on whatever your conversion rate is. So obviously the higher your conversion rate, the fewer leads you need to get to one job, one case, one patient, etc. So that's why I always like to say is, is that, you know, it really does matter how good of an intake team you have. And that really determines ultimately what your efficiency is or what your cost per job or case or patient is. So what are Google local service ads? Google local service ads are an ad type that Google has created that is similar to Google pay-per-click in that you pay for a result. And the result that you're paying for is actually a phone call and not a click like you pay for for Google pay-per-click. So just keep that in mind. That's really what makes Google local service ads so different is that number one, it's local in nature. And number two, the result that you're paying for is the actual phone call and or a message lead. So you're actually getting a very valuable outcome as opposed to just a click to your website. The other thing that really sets Google local service ads apart is the fact that you are able to dispute the calls that you get. So when you dispute the calls and it's successful and Google approves them, you get a credit for those calls so you can apply that amount towards your next bill. Here are some examples of Google local service ads in the search results. So you can see that there's actually three different categories of Google local service ads. There's Google screened, there's Google guaranteed, and there's license verified by Google. So that's the healthcare version of Google screen that really just came out recently that healthcare providers are allowed to use in order to generate new leads for their patients. Now, the calls are not recorded for that vertical because of HIPAA guidelines. So just keep that in mind. That's what makes that vertical a little bit different. Another really great thing about Google local service ads is that you know you have a little bit of variance based on which category that your business is in and there are advantages to each. Okay, so like I was saying, Google will charge you based on the number of leads that you actually get. So the actual price that you end up paying, it's based on a lot of different factors. So what I would like to say is, you know, first identify by going to Google and getting a general ballpark of what you will pay. You can type in Google local service ads, go to their page, their website that they've got there. And if you click through, you'll see that when you put in your business type, it'll give you an idea of what you can expect to pay for your Google local service ad leads. I will also say that a very important aspect of the pricing has to do with where you're at. If you're in a super large city, then typically there's gonna be a lot of competition and therefore the cost per lead that you're gonna pay is gonna be higher. We see this with attorneys, especially personal injury attorneys in large cities. Their cost per lead can be super, super high, $300, $350 or higher. So just keep that in mind. If you're in a bigger city, we do recommend starting with a larger budget. There are certain budget amounts that will generate more leads for your business. And a lot of times the budget amounts are a little bit higher typically than what people want to pay. But just know that what this is doing is it's sending the right message to Google that you are committed and that you will pay 
what's necessary in order to get the lead volume that you're looking for. You're committed to the platform and that's really what we've seen because we've started hundreds of different pages and we started them at low budgets and high budgets and medium budgets and we found the sweet spot for larger cities and for medium cities and for smaller cities. So just keep that in mind when you're actually trying to identify where to set your budget to get the, the most leads that you can possibly get. If you're in a market or in a city that maybe is small and there's a lot of different attorneys there, for example, if you're a PI attorney or even if you're a plumber, it doesn't matter, then you're gonna have a lot of competition and that lead cost, that cost per call is gonna be high. So there's a couple of ways to optimize your bid. There's, you can either do max bid or max leads. If you choose to identify the amount that you're bidding, then you can bid all the way up to the maximum. If you choose to let Google help you, then you can choose max leads. And that's the other way to actually choose what kind of bidding structure you wanna use. And there's different advantages to each. And we've got a strategy that really leverages these two because there's different verticals and there's different even markets that one of these bidding strategies would do better in versus the other. There's many different case studies that we've got. I can tell you that the ones that we like the most and that we've seen actually just recently, there's an attorney that was in Missouri that just started out as a PI attorney, had nothing, like he literally had no website, no nothing, and he started from scratch. And when we turned on his Google local service ads or his Google screen, he started getting a really good solid amount of lead volume. This is what we'll see a lot of times, especially for the first month to two months when a business starts. Google will give you the lead volume that it needs to give you in order to show Google or for them to see whether or not you're gonna do the three R's well or you're not. So it's all about the reviews, radius, and response time. A video of mine would not be complete without talking about those three things. So Google gives you just enough rope to basically hang yourself if you choose to do so. And this is the reason why it's so important to have an agency walk you through the process of setup so that you only start when you're ready because nine times out of 10, we find out typically you're just not answering the phone even though almost everybody thinks that they are. Uh, answering all the phone calls 100% of the time. So by implementing this strategy for this attorney in Missouri, his ROI went through the roof. He got a ton of leads, got a ton of cases, and the only thing that ended up turning the lead volume down was when he stopped getting reviews and when he stopped answering the phone as quickly as he was in the beginning because he got so busy. So this is the reason why it's so important to make sure you have an agency that can support you and make sure that they're holding the intake team accountable for answering all the phone calls and can help you fix the problems that arise when it's not happening. So in this video, I've talked to you about a lot of things. I've talked to you about the bidding strategy, the budget strategy. I've given you some resources where you can go in order to identify what your cost per lead will be by going to the Google local service ad website and then plugging in your business type and Google will tell you what your range will be based on your zip code. So I've given you that. And then also, hopefully I've given you some other insights, again, on the importance of the three R's. Let us know if you have any questions. You can obviously text me at 619-304-5155. I'll answer any other questions you have. And that's a great place for you to get our video where we talk, where I talk about the three R's and the importance of them. Um, especially if you're getting started. Like I said, it's very, very important to make sure that you start off on the right foot and that you start answering the phone right from the beginning and that you do the three R's and you make sure that you're set up to implement the three R's right from the get-go because you never get a shot to show Google again how you're gonna do that from the beginning in order to keep that lead volume going. So you only get one shot at doing that. So. You want to put your best foot forward and we'll help you do that. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.